greetings, I'm Jamal and this is JS News in 5, a weekly recap of all of the top government news and events over this past week. So, let's get into it. Despite the disruption to trade caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, Barbados has gained almost 300 million from certified exports between January and November this year. While this is below the 2019 total of 333 million, Minister of International Business and Industry Ronald Toppin told guests at the BIDC annual awards ceremony and charity drive that the 2020 achievement was still worthy given the circumstances. Remarking that the global pandemic shook every pillar of economic activity in Barbados, Mr. Toppin, however, insisted that 2020 would not be a wasted year. And I have to say, while the threat of the pandemic is still very much with us, it's good to know that there are still some positive signs coming for 2021. And in other news, Prime Minister Motley has charged world leaders to take action against another of the world's looming threats. Here's Sharifa, who is extremely festive this time around, to tell us all about it. Thanks Jamal, as you know, I love this season. Now, Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley recently told global leaders that there's a need to move from placatory rhetoric to real effective action to address the climate crisis before many countries are robbed of their future. Speaking at the Virtual Climate Ambition Summit 2020 on the fifth anniversary of the landmark Paris Agreement, Ms. Motley said Barbados' new nationally determined contribution of becoming fossil fuel free by 2030 at best and carbon neutral at worst is an even more ambitious target than that set in the Paris Summit in 2015. To read more on these and other stories, don't forget to visit our website at gisbarbados.gov.bb. That's all for now, Jamal. Back to you. Thanks, Sharifa. Now, folks, I'm wondering, have you checked out our SoundCloud page to see what job and educational opportunities you may be missing out on? Okay, so you need to listen to this next clip, and at the end of our newscast, check out our SoundCloud page to hear more. The Board of Management of Common Mare School invites applications for the permanent position of Head of Department Art and Music. Candidates should have at least five years satisfactory teaching experience in one or more of the subject areas and possess a recognized university degree or the equivalent, as well as successfully completed an approved course of professional training. Interested persons must submit applications by Thursday, December 31st. Now, if you're in need of a local content that is interesting, informative, and entertaining, then I suggest you check out our YouTube channel. Sharifa, what do you recommend I watch on our YouTube channel, The BJS? Jamal, this week there's a message from the Criminal Justice Research and Planning Unit that would make anyone rethink getting into a life of crime. Uh, I should have never gone by Rochi for that gun. One minute me and my dog, they having an argument. N next thing you know, he laying down on the ground, dead, dead, dead. Man, listen, when I hear the judge say I ain't here for life, I could have feel my knees buckle. I can't show the men on the block. I can't lay down next to my girl. Man, I can't even teach my little man how to stand out of this kind of trouble. You can check our YouTube channel, The BGIS, for the full video. Thanks so much Sharifa and finally, while you're out shopping this holiday season, keep in mind these tips from the Barbados Fair Trading Commission. And that's it for this season of JS News in 5. Join us right here on January 8th for another recap. And don't forget to click the red button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The BJS. You can also like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at our handle, at JS Barbados. I'm Jamal. Season's greetings and the best wishes for 2021. <laughs>